Hey fellow trainers, so before I start episode 30 of our Pokemon Soul Silver Dice Lock, I am going to go ahead and jump into our PC box and I am going to pick the three Pokemon to put into each box and then we're going to go ahead and roll the die, see which one joins the team and then I'm going to do a quick uh, grinding montage to get the Pokemon up to we'll say level 38 and then we will continue the episode from there so <clears throat> so we have two water types a ground ice type a fire type and an electric type so to cover our bases I thought we could do um So we have two Pokemon or three Pokemon that are weak to ground. We have Pyroback, Metroid, and Bali. So I'm going to put the first slot. I'm going to put Boo, our Ghastly, because Ghastly has the Levitate ability. And then in our second box, I'm going to put John Cena, <laughs> our Machop because we don't have a fighting type. And then in our third box down here, I'm going to put Cousin It, our Tangela. Because we also don't have a, a grass type. So, let's see what the die gods have to say. Uh, wait, there we go, roll. Right there. That is a three. All right, <sighs> cousin. It. Welcome to the team. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys after the grinding montage. Searching for the things to say To get this poison out my veins 
Learn to get along all by yourself. Let the memories fade. Everything will be okay. Just takes a little faith. What's up, fellow trainers? I'm Trainer James, and you're watching Pokemon Soul Silver Dice Lock. This is episode number 30. And as you can see, we just did our grinding montage. And first and foremost, I, I want to thank my really good friend, Cole Woodruff, who supplied me with the music that you heard in the grinding montage. That was actually him. Um, that was him last episode as well, during our last episode's <laughs> grinding montage. Um, but I will leave a link to his YouTube channel and his uh, iTunes down below in the description. If you would like to check that out um and the reason we had to do a grinding montage was because the last episode we took on claire our final gym leader for the johto region and she wrecked shop on our team <laughs> and unfortunately um during her wrecking of said shop she um she took Sh shucky out so, as you can see up above, we had to pull Cousin It out of the box. So Cousin It joined the team, and Cousin It was the reason why we had the grinding montage today. So, with that, let's go ahead and get started with a team recap. First up is Pyroback, our level 38 Typhlosion holding the Soothe Bell. And Pyroback knows Lava Plume Dig, Quick Attack, Smoke Screen. Next up is Aroma, our level 37 pi uh, Piloswine, holding the Nevermelt Ice, and Aroma knows Earthquake, Blizzard, Ice Shards, Strength. We had to teach Aroma Strength since Shucky uh, previously knew, knew Strength. You know, we had to have someone on our team know Strength, and since Aroma is a more physical attacker, as you can see, um, Aroma's attack is 96, whereas... His special attack is 49. But nonetheless, I figured I would teach strength to Aroma. So next up we have Equator, our level 37 Poliwhirl, holding the Quick Claw. And Equator knows Waterfall, Surf, Body Slam, and Hypnosis. And then next up is Metroid, our level 37 Tentacruel, holding the Amulet Coin. And Metroid knows Bubble Beam, Whirlpool, Poison Jab, Barrier. And then next up is our newest member, Cousin It, our level 38, Tangrowth, who evolved during the grinding montage. And Cousin It is holding the Miracle Seed, which boosts grass type attacks. And Cousin It knows Mega Drain, Poison Powder, Cut, and Ancient Power. And then last up is Bali, our level 38 Electrode holding the Magnet, who knows Charge Beam, Rollout, Swift, and Life Screen. And with that, let's go ahead and get started on today's episode. We have to head north. We have to head to... Or no, I'm in Mahogany City. I have to... Let's see, we... we um, let's see, we have to... go back to Blackthorn City. I know some people don't allow um, flyers in their Nuzlocks if if their core six Pokemon can't learn fly, but I'm not going to play that way. Like, I'm not going to use um, our Farfetch'd, so, you know, I'm not going to use it in battle. I just use it for fly. So... I, you know, I consider that all right. So, let's get to Blackthorn City. We will put Patricia, our far-fetched, back in the box. We'll pull Equator out, and then we'll, we will head north into the, what's it called, like, Dragon Cave or something? Uh, Equator... Alright, that's our core six. 
back at our party. Actually, real, real quick, because Equator's holding the Quick Claw, but I don't know if Equator is really our slowest member anymore. So 93, 57, 87, 87, 65, and 118. Okay, so Cousin It, Cousin It, and Aroma are both slower than Equator, but they both are holding useful items that boosts their attacks. So I'm going to go ahead and keep Equator with a Quick Claw. Even though Equator and Metroid have the same speed, I'm gonna go ahead and keep it on Equator. All right, now let's head north. Okay, so we have to go up here. Um, I don't really remember what Claire said. We have to go up here and what, like, I think find her? I think after we beat her, it just scarred her so badly she had to run from the gym. <laughs> Magikarp. Not, uh... We'll run from the Magikarp. You wanna talk to me? If Claire allows it, her... Grandfather, our master will also. You may enter. Thank you, kind sir. The dragon's den, which means we can also get a brand new encounter here. Which would be fun, because I'm pretty sure you can get Dratinis in here. And apparently there are trainers in here. Look at that. More asexual trainers. Asexual dragon trainers. Alright, so we know from the gym that Dragonair could possibly have Aqua Tail. So. <clears throat> Let's go out into Cousin It. Cousin It will resist Aqua Tails. Surf? Okay, that's fine. I'm pretty sure that's fine. And it is. Okay, let's poison powder, and we miss. Dragon Rage. We can take, what, like two of those? Yeah, we can take one more of those. It's fine. Poison powder again. Man, I got bit by a mosquito last night. It's like really itching my leg. I should, I should stop scratching. Ugh, Dragonair's poisoned. Okay. Um, do we have any more potions? Yes, we do. Okay. Um, actually... Actually, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and just... Um, yeah, I'm going to go out into Metroid. then we can poison jab Dragonair. Cause we could take another Dragon Rage with Metroid and still be okay. Alright, uh, poison jab, we're faster, which is nice to know. Okay. Thu Ooh. Was not <laughs> I was not ready for Thunder. <laughs> Metroid, I'm Glad you dodged it. Asexual trainer Kobe. Okay. Before we do anything else, let's um let's use some super potions on Metroid. And then use a couple more on cousin it. just to make them healthy. I want to leave Pyro back out front, but if there are more Dragon Trainers in here, then I don't think I really can. So let's bring Cousin It out front. A revive! Okay, we can sell that. How you feeling, Cousin It? Huh? Cousin It? Is holding something. Would you like to take it? Yes. A, a black 
beard. <laughs> okay. By the way, during our grinding montage, um, we found a black belt, which um, it boosts fighting type moves, but we don't have any fighting type Pokemon. At least not yet. Not until we get, you know, we find a water stone and we get Polyrath. I don't know if you can find wild Pokemon out of the water. Calcium that boosts special attack. So let's go ahead and use that. Uh, calcium. Pyroback, no effect, okay. Okay, follow it, that's fine. Okay, so we're gonna enter the water and find our encounter for Dragon Den. Dragon's Den. Looks like there was like a sh maybe like a ship right there or something. Or no, I guess that would be part of the bridge. I guess that makes sense. A dratini. I mean, it's level 13, but still. Um, I'm gonna go out into the equator and use hypnosis. Twister. Um, hypnosis. You're using hypnosis with your belly. They literally have to look at your belly. How do you miss? Okay. Got that hypnosis. Now, there's not really much I can do to, to Dratini. A level 13 Dratini at that. I don't think so, anyways. You know, if we still had Shucky, then sure, we could. Cut would kill it. Whirlpool might not. And everything else would. Okay. Um, I mean, we have seven Ultra Balls. The war ball, great for no for catching Pokemon on a rod. Okay, yeah, let's, let's use his Ultra Ball. Of course, Dratini is fast asleep. Actually, if Dratini wakes up, I think I'm gonna go back out into Cousin It, and I'll just use Poison Powder. Uh, can we go ahead and switch or? No, we can't. Okay, because we're bound in the wrap. That makes sense. All right, well, let's try another Ultra Ball. Just to see. One, two, three. We got Dratini. Okay. We got ourselves a Dratini. This Pokemon is full of life energy. It continuously sheds its skin and grows steadily larger. Makes sense why uh, Dragonair is so long then. Uh, we'll just call you Drake. Drake the Dratini. Right there. <laughs> Okay, Magikarp. It's fine, we already had a Magikarp anyways. So we can run, and then let's go find Claire. Assuming we can stop running into wild and Pokemon now. <clears throat> Level 20 Magikarp. I wonder if you can find Dragonairs in here, or if it's just Dratinis. Dratinis and Magikarps. Made it to the other side. Um, okay, so we have to go around. In the water. Of course we do. I couldn't make this easy. Come this way. Oh, there's another trainer. 
Max Potion? Okay. Battle me! Mm. Man. This Dragon's Den is just full of asexual trainers. Mega Drain. Good job, Cousin It. Let's see. Another horsey. I'm fine with horsies. I just don't want to see another Kingdra. I think I might even be okay with the Seedra. Just no Kingdras. Please. Goodbye, horsey. Seedra? Okay. I'm sure a Mega Drain will take this Seedra out. I I do really think that Seedra and Kingdra are like really great. They're Pokemon with really great designs. Especially Kingdra. Like, Kingdra just looks really cool. And it was the only Dragon type added to Gen 2. We've got some twins over here. So we'll battle them. Okay, okay, okay. Are they asexual trainers too? Nope. Just twins! Dratini and Dratini. Cousin It and Aroma. Um. See if we can't get a blizzard off. Yes! Okay. Well, that'll take both Dratinis out. It, it, it should, anyways. Good job, Aroma. Good job. Ouchie! A max elixir? That's, uh, that'll be good for the elixir. Oh! <laughs> Excuse me, sorry. That max elixir, like I said, it'll be good for the Elite Four. I had, um, Buffalo Wild Wings tonight. They were good, but man, <laughs> no, I'm feeling it now. I also went to the Indianapolis Zoo today with uh, my best friend, and um, we went to a sloth exhibit. We learned so much about sloths. <laughs> good to see you here. No need to explain why you came. Claire sent you here, didn't she? That girl's a handful. I'm sorry, but I must test you. Not to worry. You are to answer only a few questions. Ready? What are Pokemon to you? Wait. Oops. I wasn't looking at the bottom screen. <laughs> I don't know what I answered. <clears throat> I understand. What helps you win battles? <laughs> Cheating. We'll put training. Hmm. I understand. What kind of trainer do you wish to battle? Weak! No, I didn't mean to weak. Ha! <laughs> I didn't quite catch that. What was it you said? What kind of trainer do you wish to battle? Oh, I understand. What is most important for raising Pokemon? Oh my god. I keep avoiding the bottom screen. I okay, I got a face over here. Hmm, I understand. Strong Pokemon, weak Pokemon. Which is more important to you? Both. Hmm, I see. You care deeply for Pokemon. Very commendable. That conviction is what is important. James, don't lose that belief. It will see you through at the Pokemon League. Here comes Claire. She's gonna whine. So, how did it go? I guess there's no point in asking. You did fail. 
What? You passed? That can't be! You're lying. Even I haven't been approved. Claire, this child is impeccable in skill and spirit. Admit defeat and confer the rising badge. Or I must inform Lance of this. I... I understand. Here, this is the rising badge. Hurry up, take it. Finally got our last badge. The rising badge will enable your Pokemon to use the move for climbing waterfalls. Also, all Pokemon will know as you as a trainer and obey your every command without question. Claire, reflect upon what it is that you lack and this child has. She just runs out screaming. <laughs> By the way, have you heard of Lugia? Between Olivine and Cyanwood are islands called Royal Islands. There is a huge waterfall deep in the cave there, but it said that Wugia rests deep rest in the deep end of the waterfall basin. You need a silver wing to reach the waterfall basin, I've heard. Alright, so we've got the silver wing, we can use waterfall, we can go back to the Royal Islands, and we can encounter Wugia, finally. It's been quite some time since the trainer has gained our master's rare approval. In fact, not since Master Lance. Oh, you know young Master Lance. He looks so much like our master did in his youth. It's in their blood. Okay, cool. Thanks, guys. Okay. So, we finally got our badge. We got our encounter in here. Is there anything in this rock? Nope. Okay. Um... So, we can come over here. I saw an item up there. Go, Cousin It! A Dragon Fang, which ups dragon moves, right? Professor Oak. Hello? This is Professor Oak. You're catching a lot of Pokemon, aren't you? Alright. <laughs> a lot of phone call. Next time, send a text. Um, no, I wanted to see the, the Dragon Fang. I'm pretty sure Dragon Fang ups Dragon type moves. Uh, Shark Fang that ups the power of Dragon type moves. Yep. Okay. Because the dragon scale is what evolves Cedra into Kingdra, but you have to trade. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here. Do we have an escape rope? Yes, we do. We have one. That's okay. I think the only other cave we have left is Victory Road. So might as well use the escape rope here. And we are out, Professor Elm. Uh, hello, James. How's it going? I've gotten a hold of something neat. Swing by my lab and pick it up. See you later. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Well, in order to get back to town, uh, back to our starting town, we have to travel south of Blackthorn City, which we can get another encounter there. I'm almost positive we can. Because I think, like, the north part of the route and the south part of the route are two different routes. I'm uh, pretty sure. So which route is it? Route 45? Let's, let's see. Um, where's the map? Is this the map? Route 45. Route 46. Yeah. So, because we came up north, and to Route 46, we got an encounter at the start of the series. So Route 45 is a new encounter. So let's go ahead and get another encounter.
before we end today's episode. I guess I could have gone to the Pokemon Center and healed real quick. Ah, Geodude, but we've already had a Geodude. Okay. And there, there was also a cave to the left. That was Dark Cave. And... I'm pretty sure we already got an encounter in Dark Cave. Pretty sure. If we didn't, then we already sacrificed it because I used it in a grinding montage. A Graveler. We don't have Graveler, but, but we did catch a Geodude, so this is Species. Uh, so we don't have to catch this. We can just keep encountering until we find another Pokemon. And I don't have any Pokemon on me that know Headbutt, so I can't just Headbutt a tree. Like I could before. <clears throat> Graveler, okay. I feel like what we're probably probably only going to catch grab or encounter Gravelers and Geodudes. There's gotta be other Pokemon on this route though. But I'm just battling them because because of it is um grass and their rock ground so it benefits us to just take them out with mega drains uh, a skarmory okay 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 well we can't poison powder it um but we can go out into Equator. We can use Hypnosis, we can use Body Slam. It's going to resist Body Slam. Hypnosis. The Quick Claw pops. I'm so tempted to use one of these, but I'm almost positive they will take Skarmory out. So we'll just keep body slamming. And if we catch a Skarmory, I already have the perfect name. Skarmory woke up, that's fine. Agility. Okay. Uh, body slam again. Air Cutter. I guess Skarmory is more of a physical attacker than a special attacker. Body Slam. Even a crit shouldn't, shouldn't take Skarmory out. Um, okay, now, now I'm not gonna risk it because now I'm afraid a crit will take Skarmory out. I was hoping we could get it into the red, but it is what it is. Pokeballs. Yeah, we'll just use a Pokeball on this. I mean, Skarmory's asleep. It's in the yellow, close to the red. Shook two times, and it broke out. Okay. But we have 30 Pokeballs, so it's okay. Not only shook once. I kind of want to save my Ultra Balls for Lugia. Because I know Lugia is going to be a pain to catch. 
That's why I hate, I hate trying to catch a legendary Pokemon. So much. I don't even understand how a sleeping Pokemon breaks out of a po Pokeball. Of course. And now it's awake. Uh, okay, let's... Hypnosis again. Faint. Faint only works if you use Protect. It uh, bypasses Protect and hits you. In case you didn't know. One, two. <laughs> this Skarmory is going to make me use an Ultra Ball, isn't it? You know what? Wait, no, 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 no. I was gonna use Body Slam, not, hip not Hypnosis. Put it in the red, Equator. Put it in the red, put it in the red. Yes. <coughs> Sorry. Quick Claw pops only for us to miss. Pops again. And we hit. <sighs> Let's see if our Pokeballs will work now. Party U7, this is our eighth Pokeball on Skarmory. Why is Skarmory so hard to catch? You are asleep and in the red. You should not be this hard to catch. This makes our 10th Pokeball on just Skarmory. Okay, I'm using an Ultra Ball. I'm doing it. Ultra Ball. Just do it. Why? Hypnosis. Thank you, Equator. Ultra Ball. Two. Three. Finally! Caught Skarmory. <laughs> After ten Pokeballs and two Ultra Balls. After nesting in bramble bushes, the wings of its chicks grow hard from scratches by thorns. Cool. Alright. Um, I'm going to name this Skarmory... Theo. And the reason I name it Theo is because I um, discovered another Poketuber who's relatively new in his Poketube career, just like me. His name is Human Shield. He also does Nuzlocks. I would definitely recommend go follow him. Um, his content's really good. And he uh, started a gold randomizer Nuzlocke. And he has a Skarmory named Theo. 
But anyways, that's where I'm going to end today's episode. So if you enjoyed that, remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, answer the question of the day down below, and thank you for watching. I hope you have a lovely weekend.